Uh, checking with Jill Bellin now. She's hanging out at Pro Bodies Fitness Center with a four-time Mr. Olympia named Jay Cutler. And Jill, I know you guys are working buys and tries, but I have to think that leaning out is very different than doing the kind of muscle building that Jay would do. You're exactly right, Tara. Leaning out and muscle building two totally different things, and these guys have it down to a science, of course, when it comes to competition time. Uh, but we're talking about, you know, practical information for people who are interested in training because you may not necessarily get to Jay's size. Let's be honest. This is partly genetic, right, Jay? A lot of it's genetics. Yeah. And it's a lot of time. It's 20 years. 20 years of building. Uh, let's talk about biceps here because guys want to work biceps, and you were saying women want the chicken wing gone. Right? So what's your favorite exercise for biceps? Uh, I have a few actually, uh, but a lot of gyms have a uh, machine like this. This is a pre to curl machine, which you can do with free weights also, but this one's actually uh, a selectorized machine with a weight stack. So uh, we're going to display uh, how to work the biceps called, called the pre to curl. Okay, okay, so here it is right here, the pre to curl. Now when you train biceps, how many exercises would you do on your biceps? I'd probably do three different movements, three variations of uh, different exercises. The main thing is, is repetitions. In bodybuilding, we focus not on necessarily weights. Right. That's a misconception. Everyone says, how much do you curl? Yeah. That's not important for being a bodybuilder. You just want to look like you can curl this whole gym. Right. So for me, uh, I focus around 10 to 12 repetitions. So when I pick up weights or when I do this machine, I'll do 10 or 12 repetitions and get a, what they call a pump. Okay. Okay, and that's what we go for. And that obviously causes swelling and causes the muscles to look full. Okay, so okay. let's see it here. Preacher curl. Good position, good form. And you would do one body part per day when you're training for a competition. Right? Usually one, so I consider my arms one. So I do our biceps and triceps. I'll do chest one day, legs one day, shoulders one day, back one day. So I train about four days a week. And that seems to be sufficient. What do you think? Come on. That's ridiculous. Full range of motion, important. Yes. Okay. And squeezing and contracting is super important. So uh, that's how you get 21-inch uh, biceps. <laughs> All right. Let's move on to triceps. And uh, I'll, I'll, try, <laughs> I'll try to follow that up <laughs> with this exercise. So you're saying this is best for ladies? to this create is, that shape, the horseshoe? With women, they always want to have, they want to have what they call the horseshoe, which is this, that little horseshoe right there. <laughs> so, tiny, tiny horseshoe. No, it's okay, but with this, you know, this is called the rope press down, and what, the ideal thing is at the bottom with this, you see that she's pulling out, which is really giving a contraction. It's one of the few exercises that, that you actually lock out on with all the other exercise you don't usually lock out. So. Okay. So this is looking okay to you? Yeah. All right. Ten, 10 to 12 repetitions. You want to feel that little burn in there? And 12. 12. <laughs> 12. We're done. Thanks, Jay. <laughs> Jay said earlier that we were going to work my twigs. Oh. Yeah. Well, she challenged me last night on, on, on social Twitter. network last night. So I said, okay. I said. Game on. Game on. Game on. Game on, I, I do not <laughs> think we could have found two more different people <laughs> to hang out today on the show.